Bag. Brought to you by us, fans like you, but mostly us. And the smartest man alive, Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four. Hello, Stephen. Stephen, your arrival here confuses and destabilizes reality. The larger the footprint you leave behind, the greater the risk of an incursion. Incursion? An incursion occurs when the boundary between two universes erodes, destroying one or both entirely. From our experience, the greatest danger to the multiverse, it turns out, is Doctor Strange. In a dark corner of the world, three men will work together to bring you a podcast like no other. This is Fanatically Correct, where the fans, the geeks, and the nerds are always correct. With your host, MSK, Yo Peace, and Omega. Wow. Oh, yeah. I went to get the edited version of that. So, <laughs> He's not editing nothing. I just have been wrong. doing this almost for 10 years already, and we still haven't got that. <laughs> <laughs> So, eventually we'll get there. Yes, this is a broadcast, so broadcast. by all means, please share and like and smash buttons and all that. We're ready, we're ready to do this, people. Wow, yes. they, 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 they dislike that intro so much, they like, there we go. There, all right. There we go, join me. Should I join? <laughs> <laughs> we should. No, actually, you guys can join, you don't know. Please. I'm, I set it up, you guys haven't tried it yet. So you just to see how you do. Worst case scenario, you make guys make top few with like, the next person. I get the full ranking. Well, no, I mean, uh, worst comes to worst, you can just get the people that actually know things to yeah, be here yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah. Be, be fun. So I, I, I tested it. So it's obviously multiverse. So you guys are gonna have fun. It's a different question from different films and shows that do with multiverse. Ah! So some of you might have seen, some of you may not have seen. Spoiler alert, if you have seen it, <laughs> haven't seen it and you wanted to, so some of that's gonna happen. Everybody here see uh, into the, uh, Across the Spider-Verse yet? Yes. Anybody not see Across the Spider-Verse yet? Yes. Okay, we're all good. I'm all good. I'm just gonna pretend I was younger. Yeah, see. Oh, yeah. Because, because uh, another co-host of mine recommended a different... Yeah, well, you did it smart. So we're gonna get into that in the podcast, we'll too, and we'll start the trivia we'll get as to what order you should... Wait, we lose somebody again? Someone has rough... Rough in Who did we lose? Myself. I don't know. I wasn't even there. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get started in three, two, oh, it just happened. Why? Oh, Multiverse movie trivia. Three, two, two, one. In the movie Another Earth from 2011, what did Rhoda write on Perky's hand? Oh my god. Triangle red, forgive. Nope. Blue. Blessings and orange and face and green. Forgive? Nope. Blessing? I don't even know what that is. What? That was definitely uh, fake. Forgive. Forgive. Oh. Is the correct answer? Yes. Uh oh. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Florida man. Hello. Only person to get it right. Wow. So far. Good job, Florida man. Good job, Florida man. Yeah. Good job. You seen that movie? All the time. Next question. My right after the okay. trivia, we'll be doing uh, some talking about the multiverses. So sit back, relax, and watch the trivia. Who does Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, first use to hunt America Chavez? Oh. Cassidius. Wanda, Earth 1701. Gargantos, or King Root. Who does Wanda, the Scarlet Witch, first use to hunt America Chavez? These are pretty good questions. These are pretty good questions. Cassidius. Wanda from Earth 71, Gargantos or King And the answer is Gargantos. Let's see. Oh, Mr. Placement. We'll talk about that movie. We'll talk about At the beginning of the film, Happy Death Day to you. College student Ryan wakes up in his car on Monday, Sunday, Wednesday, or Tuesday. Hey, man, these are pretty hard questions. At the beginning like, of the film, Happy Death Day to you. Just guess and guess fast if you don't know. College student Ryan wakes up in his car on Monday, Sunday, Wednesday, or Tuesday. Sunday, Monday. Oh, Friday. Happy day. It's Friday. I'm in love. It was always Tuesday. Okay, let's see placement. All right. Gummy Worm in mm. first place right now. Gummy Worm. Uncle Jen in second, and Florida Man in third. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, 
Oh, this. What are we going here? What's happening? This Question is before. In the multiverse, what is the name of the supervillain that is actually Evelyn's daughter, Joy, in other dimensions? Mm. This is everywhere. Oh, anywhere, everywhere, all at once. Great movie. Oh, we talk about it more. Everywhere, all at once. Oscar winning film. Oscar winning film. Jubu Tupaki in his hotel. Fran Fetta. Oh, everyone guessed on this. And three people got it right. It was Jubu Tupaki. Tupac. A gummy worm. It's still in first place. Florida Man in second. About a thousand points behind. Mumble Jan in third. Jazz in fourth. Gianna in fifth. I like that. I better even play anymore. Next question. In Avengers Endgame, who escapes with the Tesseract to New York in April 2012? Iron Man. Yeah, we're going to throw right. some gimmies. Iron Man, Ant Man, Loki, or Captain oh, America? Come on, this is really In Avengers Endgame, who escapes with the hey, Tesseract to New York? Iron Man, Ant Man. You also got to answer it fast. Nope. Only five people got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Only five people played. No, so there's more people coming. Awesome. There we go. So Gummy Worm in first still. Oh, we're the man second. Muggle Man in race. It's a race. Oh, it's a Game Slayer. Yeah, I think Gummy Worm is. Here we go. Which Ooh. villain got cured first? Ooh. Uh, Which villain got cured first in Ooh. The Way Home? Is it Green Goblin, Dr. Octavius, Sandman, or Lizard? You say when they started, when the Spider Man started. Now, what do you say cured? Cured. They gave a cure to them. You know, I'm pretty sure he watched all of these just to do this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you watch them? Actually, no, yeah. I didn't watch all of these. My wife actually put this shit again. <laughs> so the answer, of course, is Dr. Octavius. Doc Ock. Wow. A gummy oh, worm is yeah. still. Wow. Gummy worms. Yeah. Who she was the lead. He's gone. I Florida Man in second. Muggle Jen in third. I know. Well, got George the gummy yeah. Worm. yeah Next question. question. The name Nadia is short for Nadezda. What does it mean in Russian? This is from the show Russian Doll. Faith. Hope. Oh. Death or summer love. Oh, what's up? Uh, <laughs> MSK's gonna have to edit some uh, foul language from the front row. No. Faith, hope, death or love. What does Nadia, Nadezda, in Russian mean? Uh, so I'll just speak Russian. You might know the answer. No, I said yes. No, I said yes. It is hope, and hope. no one gets hope. I mean, it's not just the S in Kryptonian that's I was about to say, yeah. So we got Gummy Worm is killing it first. Yeah. Florida Man, Muggle Jan, Logan Jazz. Next question. What is the name of the family pet in Rick and Morty? What is the name of the family pet? Ruffles, mm. Snowball, Snuffles, or Furball? Give me a hint! Rick and Morty. Oh, it's a pet. What is the name of the pet? Ruffles, Snowball, Snuffles, Furball. The family pet's a dog, right? It's, I believe it's a dog. It's a dog, yeah. It takes a little... Oh, oh. Two people got it right. Snuffles. And of course, Johnny Warren, Logan, Florida Man. Oh, Logan doesn't design. Look at Logan. Bubble Jam. Oh, Jam. Good job. Good go. job, Logan. Lauren Williams. Came out of nowhere. The heir to the throne of, this is from his Dark Materials, mm-hmm. Nova Zemblas, the Lagbard, Westeros, Rockhaven. Lauren was the heir to the throne. Uh, this is from uh, her Dark Materials yeah, on Max, yeah, on HBO. Golden yeah. Compass is yeah. the film. The yeah. Hands yeah. Hands yeah. Hands yeah. Hands X-23. Is it that way? Smart bar, a lot of people actually use. Good guess. They like the color blue. Gummy worm so clutchy at Florida Man and second oh, dad's third. 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 Next question. Which of the following people is initially assigned to the Enterprise? Yes, Star Trek had a multiverse. Was it Scotty, Kohura, Kirk, or McCoy in the J.J. Abrams reboot of Star Trek? The first film with Chris Pine. Who was originally initially assigned to the Enterprise? Scotty, Uhura, Kirk, or McCoy? Three, two, one. Boom! One person got that. McCoy. It's McCoy. That is exactly right. That's a great one. Gummy Worm. Gummy Worm knows that. Gummy Worm killing it. Florida Man Jazz. Logan Bubba Jen. That's the order. What earth did the spider that bit Miles Morales come from? I know this one. This is from Across the Spider Verse. What earth did the spider that bit Miles come from? Is it 42, 85, 1610, or 616? What earth did the spider that bit Miles come from? Man, what earth? 42, what earth? Earth 85, earth 1610. Ooh, everyone got that? Yeah, oh, no, dude, we got that one. Oh, yes, earth 42, that is correct. Oh, spoiler. Gummy Worm is killing it. Don't worry, just take vacation the rest of the trivia. I think you got in the bag. Florida Man, Logan, Mulligan, and Jazz. I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Almost the last question. Which of these actors did not play kal in the CW Crisis on oh, Infinite Earths? You watched it. Fereens, Tyler Hoechlin, <laughs> Tom Welling, or Brandon Routh? You still Which of these actors did not play kal in the CW Crisis on Infinite Earths? Christopher Reeves, Tyler Hoechlin, Tom Welling, Brandon Routh. Oh, Bam! A lot of people here didn't cool. see that. That's not cool, though. That's but he was in... Yes. Spoilers. The Flash. 
Yeah. Stoke work, Gummy Worm in the lead, Florida Man, Logan, Gianna, and Mubble Jen is the order we got. Here comes the last question. Yeah. When it takes it all, which of the following characters is not a paragon in the CW Crisis Internet? Is it the Flash or it's one? Supergirl, Green Arrow, or Martian Manhunter? You watch it? Which of the following characters is not a paragon? <laughs> the Flash, Supergirl, Green Arrow, or Martian Manhunter? Yeah. And the correct answer is Green Arrow. And let's see the final rankings for our prizes. Here we go. Boom, Gummy Worm, please stand up. Come on over. Hey. With the real Gummy Bear. Second place, please. Logan, and third stand place, by. Florida Man. Where's Logan? Okay, right over here. Follow me. All right, here we go. Gummy Worm, right go. over here. Look at this. You get to pick. This is awesome. Prize. One, two, or three. You get first pick. I, uh, so you can and you get two free passes to Flint's Arcade in Moore, Margate, Florida. Wow. Check out our game room over here in Glen Ball Room C and our booth downstairs with all the gun filming and everything like that. Uh, second place. <laughs> you take the other one, you will also get two free passes to Flint's Arcade in Moore. And in third place, you get three, an Uno, and an OPAD. All right. That's, that's cool. So I want something. I should have done, done, done myself. Yeah, what is, what is oh, it? and sorry for all the other players. Uh, we got some flash posters up here. If you want to grab them on your way out, there's not a lot of people taking there, so you can grab whatever's left. That's the price last. The move flash. I don't know if it's a flash movie. It might be a memorabilia one day. The CGI on the posters are good, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, now we're going to talk some multiverses. So again, we are Fanatic Correct. We're actually a podcast. Please check out our episodes. Sometimes. I'm going to put up our link tree now. Most so times. See how the book ends. Bam, there you go. Look at that. Man, you got a real lesson. Now you know how to get to our stuff. Who's in charge of that page? Yeah. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> wow, bless you. Oh, Sorry about that. Oh, so, what a way to start. How are we going to get started? Um, we're going to talk multiverses, film, movie, television, and you can at any time you like shout out, or you can come to the mic over here if you want to have your audio sound better on the podcast and release the episode. By all means, please do join us. Um, we can start taking suggestions from the audience. You want to shout out something specifically you'd like us to talk about first, or we'll just start going into I have a nice little list here of uh, different properties of multiverses, and there mm. is quite a few, believe it or not. Um, if no one wants to say anything yet, I'm going to start with an OG, an original. We haven't seen it yet. Mm. But we'll start with an intensity. Mm. We're starting with an intensity? I think we should start, because sometimes we run the time, we don't realize it, and then we try to rush an intensity. So I think we'll start. So we're going to do something different. No, I knew it. I love you. always do something like, different. Every episode, every episode I say something different, because you always do something different. We're going to start at the end, usually, of an episode. We do what's called an obsession, something that the podcast recommends that you should watch, that usually a lot of people haven't watched, uh, and we just give like, a brief description and all that. So we're going to start with that for a change so we don't have time and lose track of time we got it out of the way. So I'm going to start with an obsession. You guys want to drop one later. I'm going to start with one of the most old school first um, exposures that I had to the concept of a multiverse. Okay. It starts, uh, it starts uh, Jet Li. I knew it. Oh, and it's the one. Kind of, yeah, Anybody saying. here ever seen the one with Jet Li? I agree. We got one, one. Excellent. Oh, no, one, two, two, okay. two, three. So three. Go, all right, three, three. three. Uh, three. Out right. of our, we actually have one. Can you all clap as loud as you can? So it's time to get a lot more of you, so people on the podcast know that. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. 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 Right. We have a videographer too, but I don't know if we're ever getting around to that. So people, it's an audio. We actually have an audience. What? That wasn't a, that wasn't an applause show. <laughs> so um, again, if you want to shout anything out, whatever. But what's interesting about the one again, since a lot of you haven't seen it, don't want to spoil too much. Um, but the concept is um, you have an individual villain that basically is able to absorb the energy of all his other versions across the multiverse. So every time he kills another version of himself, he gets stronger. Strong, yeah. Unbeknownst to the other versions, that they are w- as well getting stronger. So it just becomes a race to good versus evil of this one guy becoming the one uh, and having all the energy of everyone who's becoming basically a god almost of omnipotent force yes. by doing that. And it's an action 90s movie, which is yes. incredible. A yeah. kung fu movie, this is Jet Li. You actually see some different acting from Jet Li in it because he's playing multiple characters um, before a lot of better actors have done it. Like, and uh, Loki's doing it now. And here's yeah. multiverse of the drama was, uh, Cover back, so obviously, in the multiverse of madness, uh, Spider Verse doesn't count because they're all different. Also, <laughs> different actors. The CGI on that fight was. was if you're going to compare it to the Flash, it's like Flash way, way, better. way better. Yes. Way better. Yeah, yeah it was during a time that people tried to make an attempt for good CGI. Yeah, yeah. So, well, applause. Who's seen The Flash? 
That doesn't even apply. Oh, wow. Do we have anybody who's not yet seen The Flash? Oh, we got a thumbs down. So that's so okay. Okay. So we'll try not to spoil. Um, I've already been spoiled. Oh, wow. So you want to start? Uh, yeah, we were not going to spoil. Yeah. Whatever. So there's, there's a lot of moments in that. Um, I tell you what, it's no, it's got a, it's got a good movie. <laughs> I'm cubing. It's gonna be fucking in your. Oh, yeah, man. it's gonna be fucking oh, in your audio. That. I'm cubing. Where were you on that one? I'm it's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> like the story is decent. I like it. Yes, it's it's a CGI issue though. I think a lot of people it thumbs down. Yeah. You like the story either? Uh, it's an yeah, overhyped story. issue yeah. also because everyone overhyped yeah, it. Way high for that. So you want to you want to say something or? Uh, yeah, uh, like I saw the flash. Um, I personally think it's better than a lot of DC. Yes. Movies we have gotten, but that is yeah, true. I didn't think the CGI was terrible. It wasn't like as good as like a lot of other films. Yeah. I'll say it at that, but it's not as bad as CW. But... Yeah. Well, well CW is right. more budget. Yeah, yeah. 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 CW is more budget. Is it? I no. mean, they have less of a budget. Less that's of a budget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the problem. Flash should have better. should exactly it should have C- better yes. CGI than. CGI. It is upsetting that films with much lesser story. Uh, we were just talking about this video piece yesterday. That like. The Fast and Furious films or the Transformer films have better CGI, yet their story is like junk. And then we get movies and shows that have much better storyline and it just completely lazy out on the CGI. It's very upsetting to all of us fans and geeks that that's kind of what we've been going down. But um, what so MSK is also that's we're not going to try and spoil too much yet. Seen the Flash? Go ahead. Uh, Oh, I seen the Flash. The Flash. He hasn't seen uh, (laughs) Spider Man. Hey, buddy. But he did. He did the right thing. Which is uh, what uh, your piece had. Uh, so go ahead and give your suggestion again for the podcast. Yeah, but the, the technical suggestion is to watch The Flash first and then watch Spider Verse or whatever else you want after that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the CGI really is the only thing. I think I think uh, watching The Flash first and then Spider Verse, it makes The Flash a better film for me completely overall. To our yeah. Flash film disliker, have you seen Across the Spider Verse yet? Yes. And which one did you see first? And then yeah, you go. That's exactly that's exactly like anything. You can't that is see exactly why I say. Yeah, and, and, the, and the, the problem is that I, I luckily I got to see the Flash um uh like thirty days prior to its release at a premiere. Uh, it was cut off though, so I did get upset by where the premiere ends is on something of a certain. You got the better ending. The episode, yeah, I got an ending where we don't know who the new Batman is, and then they released who the new Batman was, so I wasn't yeah. as happy <laughs> with the, the finished version. But I did love to get to see the Flash without yet seeing Spider Verse, um, because it was released, uh, you know, afterwards. And Spider Verse is just a superior film, about by far. I mean, the animation is incredible. Yeah, yeah. They they step thank you. I, I look, everyone applaud Spider Verse. Anyone not like it? Everyone like Spider Verse Cross. Yeah, it's a great film. Um, I mean it's insane. The soundtrack again is killer. The acting and and, and it again is killer. Uh, and what's insane is they actually stepped up the storyline. Oh, yeah. And the first film that it, the bar was set so high to have a good script, a good story, uh, good character development, and they managed to upbeat it. And that's the whole thing. So that's why he has not seen Spider Verse yet because I have the right order. I, I did the Flash first, so hopefully yeah. I know I'm going to be impressed with it. Next yeah, time. I mean, you know, Spider Verse is going to blow your mind. Yeah. So, anybody have any questions, statements, answers, suggestions, movies, or single Spider Verse? Go ahead, Liam, if you want to know your agency. What do you want to ask? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I you can spoil it. I'm giving you one now. I'm putting you on the spot. I'm getting you before Just you don't spoil it. No, you can spoil it. I mean, if you want. I'd prefer everyone else saw it. So. Uh, yeah, everyone saw Spider Verse in here. Any, any hands of anyone who hasn't seen across the Spider Verse yet? Oh, Whoa. one, two, okay. oh, three, two, okay. three. Okay. 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 So without spoiling, what is your statement? I don't even know. I don't. All right, we'll get to All right. <laughs> there you go. What do you want to say? Go ahead. First off, Across the Spider Verse was that was amazing. I thought it was one of the best Spider Man films. Yeah. I mean, I think it definitely like meets the high bar. I I, I think it's on the same level as No Way Home, to be honest. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's where the top. I thought that it was an amazing story. Definitely improvement on the first. Um, the cliffhanger was amazing. Yeah. Everything about that film was amazing. CGI, really everything, just the animation. Right. Super. Really incredible. See, what amazing that you said the cliffhanger. What I liked about, and I'll bring one up that I unfortunately had to sit through for the benefit of another person, um, was uh, Fast X, and they apparently had two-part oh. or two. Oh, no. And it's, yes, it is garbage. Some why from why, 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 why do we do this? Thank you. But I want to bring it up because, as usual, they are the ones who are the ones And the way that they end it is, like, just complete. Like, Matrix today. Okay, I'll bring up another one. When Matrix from 2 to 3 reloaded to Revolution, same thing. Just, like, right in the middle, not 
well thought out. It's like right here we'll do it. Actually, I don't think uh, really the best was done with Harry Potter either when they did the two parter uh, or Hunger Games, and like most of them don't know how to do it. Right, something like that. With Spider Verse. They did it in a way oh, no, no. where it felt like I just watched a season of a series, and that was the season finale. And I'm looking forward to the next season. And I love all the callbacks. Like even for those of you who haven't seen it yet, actually watch Spider Verse first right before seeing it because there's so many moments that they geniusly, you know, kept the story, you know, fluid um, and called back so many little moments that they made important moments that you probably would have taken for granted. Uh, in the second film, like, oh, that connects to when this happened, when that happened. Yeah. There's a lot of that. And apparently, there's two films out there. There's, I think there's three. Yes, three and there is. It. Well, there's two that have been there's a multiversal film. Yeah, yeah. the multiverse of the multiverse. There's yeah. two versions yeah. of that film out there, and it's little differences. Yeah. Yeah, like they say, yeah, it's like too much, but so a character times. will say one thing in one version and say something in another version. But there's actually a couple of. Um, uh, actual scene changes, but too. nothing affects the actual story. No, exactly. No, it, it, yeah, it's in, in little instances, I'll give one. It's not really spoiler. There's a moment with uh, without getting too detail um, with the um, uh, what's his name, Miguel, the uh, the two yeah, Miguel Hera, 2099, where there's a scene where he, he does expose his vampire fangs during a fight scene. Yeah, and the other film he doesn't. Something happens that interrupts it before that happens, and there's something also Miles dad so that you, several differences between the two films. Mm. And there's some rumors that they did it to see that in, like, in one part of the planet, they released one version, so they released, but it's not true because there's already been people who said they've seen both versions. Welcome, so, welcome. There's a difference in there. Thanks for coming. That would be correct. Multiverse. You guys think there's other versions of the Flash? Oh, that would be great. <laughs> Give me a moment better scene. away the multiverse ourselves right now. You take away the cameos and it will be great. So yeah, I started with the one. Um, shout out and just like applaud or say something. I'm going to start going on the list and um, we'll stop if I specifically want to talk about it. So we'll just talk about the Flash. Spider across the multiverse. Okay, we'll get this out of the way because I know a lot of people aren't happy with this. But we do have to talk about what was supposed to have been the big deal for Marvel. I liked it, but I do understand a lot of the things, and that's Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, hence Multiverses of Madness. Okay. So, okay. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. Thumbs down. So, so, thumbs up. so applaud if you liked it. Okay. So now, boo if you didn't. Balanced room. Balanced room. Yeah. Okay, let's say for people who liked it, what was your like favorite thing about it? So what was that? Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. Okay. Yeah. So I, I can Scarlet see Witch. Yeah. Oh, no, there's Scarlet Witch. Okay. For me, it was what people didn't like, which was the cameos of the other characters. Anybody here not seen Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness? Okay, good. All right, we're all good nerds. We're, we're caught up. <laughs> we're all, I think by now, I would hope so. I think what I enjoyed about it was that Evil Dead. Uh, the evil, yeah, you know what? Yes, that scene was great. Yes, that was what I liked about it. That's yeah, yeah, the horror, the horror aspect of it was yeah, incredible. Uh, the chasing scene. Yeah. 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 For, for me, Professor X, a lot of people thought that the, some of the cameras are great, but I'm going to throw this out there. He's here today, and you're going to see him. Take a picture. The guy's awesome. There's a Professor X out there that looks exactly like the, and every time I walk by, I just go, I have no choice. I have to do it. He loves it. Um, but yeah, I loved all the, that that scene with the cameras. Granted, it felt like we were supposed to get a lot more of that throughout the entire film, and it just like, gave us the one down. scene. But, I mean, they held on to the Mr. Fantastic, like, that was I. That was a fan. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they did that one good. It was a fan yeah. casting, and dude, it, it wasn't given away. It was a, a pretty good, uh, pretty good moment. So yeah, I, I personally like the cameras. I think Wanda's a good, uh, a good thing. So like those who didn't like it, what did you specifically not like? Go ahead. Well, first thing is, I don't think it's necessarily a terrible film. It's not the mm-hmm. best. That's it's kind of the Marvel MO right, right now. You, you go, it's okay. not terrible. It's okay. Yeah. All of them are okay. Yeah. So, and, uh, yeah, I loved Elizabeth Olsen, loved Cumberbatch. Mm-hmm. I feel like all the actors in there were amazing. It's just the one thing I didn't like is basically uh, one of my favorite Marvel villains is Nightmare. And they, I feel like they mm-hmm. teased him like mm-hmm. in all the trailers. And yeah. he yes. wasn't in yeah. there. And that got me yeah. a little bit that. That's the one thing that really made me angry. Well, and it was like what they did with Loki and uh, what was it? Uh, the, the WandaVision, yeah, as WandaVision. well with uh, what was WandaVision, the villain that was supposed sure. to be the devil one? Um, Mephisto. Mephisto. And, yeah. and there were little cameos in Loki too that they kept doing little things in like mm-hmm. stained glass windows and things like that. So they were messing with the fans and the Quicksilver in WandaVision yeah. because WandaVision is directly connected to Multiverse of Madness. Was just a complete like oh yeah. and what was his name? Yeah. His name yeah. Boner. Yeah. yeah, and then they just told it's a boner of a cameo. Like they yeah. gave you no reason for um, him being there other than it's just a call out that he's played him 
in another oh, show. They're being yeah. better. Yeah. See, whereas at least with DC, and they don't like, and I'll bring up the CW Crisis on Infinite Earths because they did it first, actually, um, and they did make that their multiverse. That every show, movie, uh, and the animation as well are in their multiverse. So the fact if Marvel was playing the same game, then we go, oh wait a minute, he's Quicksilver just in another universe. But they haven't until Spider-Man No Way Home that has now been established that yeah, yeah actually he is Quicksilver in another multiverse. And now Disney owns it, they didn't at that time. Um, but now they do own Fox, so we'll see. But now they are will be following DC and tell if they do that. If they but it looks like they're gonna with, with uh, Deadpool 3. So talking about multiverses, it looks like Deadpool 3 is gonna really start going nuts. That's that yeah. new thing now. It's just everybody wants to get on that end. On the multiverse? Yeah. Yep. Well that's what we're talking about. So who has and this is kind of the thing that's been happening with superhero films and now specifically this genre, who feels that we're starting to get multiverse fatigue? A plot do you think we are? Okay, so that's a few. Okay, so fatigue in the, in the sense that it's just too much of it, too much of the story. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not really the multiverse, it's more like the whole superhero thing. Just superhero genre? Yeah. yeah. yeah see, that's a different fatigue because we're getting everything everywhere all at once. That's a film but one. See, that's a good one. That's multiverse. That's a good but my point is, it's supernatural did multiverse. Right. Um, you know, I mean, show, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go down, like the TV list is, this is a good one, so you can see like the crazy thing. Well, Sliders was a show about multiverse. Uh, Fringe went into that direction. That's an older show. Uh, but Star Trek has done it. Uh, I'm just going through here like this. Uh, let's see. Well, technically Space Jam as well. Mm. Oh, this is a bomb. Good. Uh, Umbrella Academy. Dark. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Simpsons. Futurama. Family Guy. Doctor Who, of course, about who's always been about uh, multiverse and multiple yeah, times. Yeah. But, but I think it's easier on TV because it's longer. Yeah. Period but, but, time, the, like, but the point is that you're starting to see it, and that's, you know, the point of that is, and that's what I get is they, they, it's being used a lot. A lot of shows are going to go ahead. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm, the problem, I think, is that it's way too easy to just use the multiple. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it, it, it's, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a right attack. I yeah. agree. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, it, it's interesting when it's done and when it's done right. That's why like, I started with the one. Um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, I was just gonna say, like, I feel like they're not establishing like a lot of characters anymore. They're kind of just like grouping them together. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, we have like the Batman movie, which yeah. like like it kind of explores his detective, right? Situation. But like, I wish that for like everybody else. And I feel yes. at some point it's just gonna feel like they'll just put him into another movie. And that's going to take away from everything yeah. else that they could do with a bad right. movie and series by itself. But See, that's it goes. Unfortunately, that's where I buy why I bought a Crisis on Infinite Earth because I did enjoy that. But unfortunately, they were the ones to, to, to first hit that cheat code. So it wasn't so bad that they did it. And especially they get a pass because, again, they're on a budget. It's network to, you know, television. Um, so they're not the same as a film. But that's what's happened. It's the lazy thing. Like, we'll already have a thing, so we'll just say, that's part of it now. That's yeah, part of it. Yeah. And then, like, in Multiverse of Madness, we got it. But I think that Deadpool, which they have a lot of faith in, because it's actually the first movie in a while that got bumped up, uh, other bumped sooner in its release date. It's going to come out earlier. And the whole concept is that somehow in that film, he's basically going to destroy the entire yep. Fox multiverse. Like, oh, all the Fox properties are going to something. They're, uh, uh, what, is, what do they call incursions? Mm -hmm. Right? Incursions, something. But that's what they're planning to do, right place to do it. So we'll get all those cameos, but I'm hoping that that's what the Marvel plan is, is do it in Deadpool so it's funny, go meta, right. kill it all off, and stop doing the multiverse that way. Go back to what you just suggested, which is develop a character, start them out from scratch, you know, more classic you come in. style. Sorry, right. we're a podcast. It's just doing your favorite. Right. 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 So go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, you want to call it to the mic? Yeah. I know you're going to come to my thing. Pull it down. Just no, down. no, grab it. No, down. Yeah. Oh, look, we have an assistant. He likes this topic yeah, so much. He's hanging on our panel when there's like eight other panels. There you go. Meanwhile, other panels are in the fire. And stuff. Okay. <laughs> Very off topic. Stand by. I oh, just thought about this. Off topic. No, no. Uh, uh, multiverse. Multiverse well, topic. It's a topic. What was your so, name again? Yeah, what's, what's your name? What's your name? Wow, guys. <laughs> Very good. Very good. All right, so you. Here. Sorry if I'm giving spoilers. Spoiler what are you about to spoil? Wait, what? I'm pretty sure everybody's seen Endgame. Please. Yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. seen Endgame. Everyone's well, seen Endgame. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So close. at the moment where it's multiverse, that's on topic. Well, I'm well, in, well, you know, well, you that's, at that moment we see he falls to the ground and you know dies and stuff. Who? Who? 
Alliance or something. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What, what? So, in the Cage Dynasty, that's going to come out 2025, 2024. Eventually. I'm pretty sure you guys, we all are expecting a return of Iron Man, but not really, because comics, other stuff, no, he Cruise. comes back in like a hologram. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah. They might, I, I think that hopefully that might be a, a Feige thing, and I think it's with DC or James Gunn thing if Flash can destroy them, like his plan and what he plans to do, is that, is let Robert Downey Jr. age, let him do all these other things in car, cars, you know, car show, on Max, yeah, yeah like, yeah, let him do all that stuff, and, you know, Chris Evans, the same thing, the rumors are Chris Evans will be back to Deadpool, yeah. but not as Captain America, yeah. um, just like Michael B. Jordan, what do you mean? So Everyone here knows that Chris Evans was in Marvel before Captain America, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, you can forget it. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can forget it too. But it's a Fox. I problem. get it. So again, John Favreau, George. George. Yeah. So and it might be Jordan as well. So also, you know, George's rumors are. But again, look what happened in Multiverse of Madness. So trying to take it with a grain of salt. You know, Ryan Reynolds, I think, is better at getting things done. We got we got Wolverine back, but the rumors are too. He's not playing the Wolverine that we love. He's playing another version of Wolverine that. It's not as similar, so yeah. we'll see what he's playing. Exactly, you jacked it. Oh, that would be terrible. Yeah, well, that's what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. You jacked so Jackman, like, no, I'm not Wolverine, I'm Hugh Jackman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't even. That's oh, an ocean, that's an ocean I'm, show. I'm, so, 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 that was your. <laughs> that would be terrible. Statement? But, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. thank you for your statement. Thank, thank you for your statement. No, no, no. But yeah, we'll get to you right after. He's uh, definitely coming back. Is. Robert Downey Jr. will come back. Yeah, but so yeah, hopefully we don't get disappointed. We do a multiverse of madness where all these rumors and then it's like five people for five minutes and it's done. So I hope it's okay. So yeah, go ahead. Uh, and the Star Lord jacket, right? You wearing? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. The mask. You didn't see the mask. Yeah. No, I didn't. He came in with the mask. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Yeah. Like a fool. Oh, yeah. yeah. How did he leave that behind? Oh wait a minute. Everyone see Guardians of the Galaxy three yet? <laughs> well, not everyone. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know. Tear jerker. Uh, <sighs> motion roller coaster. <laughs> oh, oh, he's out. <laughs> oh, he's out. He's oh, you haven't seen anything? Oh, okay. No, we won't spoil it. But okay. But he he got it, and anyone who's seen it, they get it. They get it. They get it. But okay. So go ahead. What was your comment? Yeah, so uh, first of all, yeah, um, I have great expectations for uh, Deadpool 3, and uh, I heard rumors that it's going to lead in the Kang Dynasty, which makes sense as they confirm that the TVA and maybe even Kang will be in it. Mm. And okay. personally, I am, I'm glad that it's uh, not the same Wolverine, because uh, let's admit, it kind of would have ruined the story arc of right. yeah. Logan, because of course. his story perfectly what a great in that movie. movie. Yes, very much. And I feel like if they brought that same version back, it would have kind of ruined that. Of course, yeah. And I feel so they have, already... they've been going younger a lot, um, and the person I hope, because she's getting older and she's a hell of an actress, they should just have the, the who's no longer a little girl, uh, the X-23, be the new instead of bringing another Wolverine, because that's the whole thing, we're all, so many of us for the majority of fans ended up liking Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, it's going to be hard to see someone else fill that role, while Hugh Jackman's still like, able-bodied. The only thing that's so, those excellent movies going. Yeah, so yeah, pretty much, and in, in his own film, so yeah, that, that I think that they're better off going with a new character that's Wolverine-like, you know, basically X-23, clone, female clone of him, mm -hmm. um, with the good actors who's on the young side, because they're obviously pushing towards some young Avengers situation, yeah. whether it be on Disney Plus or in uh, the series coming up. But we got Loki coming up that's probably gonna up for that too. Uh, anyone see Secret Invasion yet? The, the first two episodes. No. Okay, the first, the first episode. couple, no. All right. no. Not a multiverse Just... situation yet that I know. Yeah, oh, thumbs down. Oh, thumbs down. Yeah. 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 Look at that. Double thumbs down. Double. Wow. Wow. You guys are doing the opposite. Wow. Wow. I'm letting you know right now. Episode, yeah. one, episode one and two, or just the most recent episode? Because episode two kind of took a step down. Yeah, see, that's what it is. Hey, um, it's, it, for me, it's still better than uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, um, but it almost feels like it's the same recipe. They started out really good, and it's starting to to fizzle down a bit, and hopefully not the case, because I mean, Samuel Jackson is incredible. Um, there are only two episodes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah two episodes in so far, but it's a big jump from, from the first Yeah, first episode so much better than the second episode. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, and they're trying to do some twists and turns, and I guess there might be some canon issues people are feeling like, come on, you're going to do that, and, and it's just kind of a... Something they already did with the character, now they're doing with Nick Fury. So for those who haven't catch up, you'll see it, and you'll be like, wait, they already did that with this character, but, you know. But um, it's not a multiverse thing, but we'll see, because there's a lot of rumors, same thing, flying with that. And Loki's the next one that'll be on Disney Plus yeah. after that. So we'll see how that comes out. Quantum Mania, since we're on the Marvel thing right now, the multiverses. 
what's the overall feeling of Quantumania? That oh, oh it's it's down now. All right, if you actually like Quantumania, okay, okay, let me be, let okay. me be nicer to it. Let me be nicer okay. to it. And thought it was okay. It's okay. Applaud. It's, it's okay. at least okay. Wow. Yeah, it's been okay. okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna. It's, I'm, 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 I'm okay. okay. I was okay. Yeah. Ooh, he's Bowie. Who was wow. that? Don't get into spice. Right, what's what, what, what's your biggest spices. problem with? Just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we. Hold yeah, on. Hold on. Was awful. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know. I mean, it's Moda. What are we expecting? See, okay. Listen, listen Moda is awful, awful anyways. In let's, the, let's in the comics, he's awful. Like, yeah, he's not what great. What are we expecting so out of that? Oh, guy. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's giving the the Mandarin excuse right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're living yeah. this. Yeah. He's terrible, anyways. We're gonna talk about see, that later. Okay, no, no, see, but that's We're the point. That. I'll use, and I think mine's a good one. I think more people on my side with it. The Mandarin, the Jesse was- Eisenberg, like Luther. When it's a character that I want, that I still haven't gotten the way I wanted it. I'm very upset when it's terrible out the gate. Um, I did not care anything about the Mandarin. Like the video piece. But MSA. Yeah, <laughs> Listen. So, but you just did it about Moda. You just had Moda, so they, it's fine. They got Ben <laughs> Kingsley, and they promoted it like if he was going to be a great villain. You, and you and never they saw so it coming. coming. And they gave us. <laughs> It told you bad, on the so. damn trailer. No, I know. Just, and they got amazing. you. That's the your trailer, fault. That's that's probably one of the best trailers I've ever seen. Because when I saw that, I just I, I looked at that. I remember the moment I looked at both of you. I'm like, oh no. And we're like, yes. uh, and then that movie went downhill. I didn't like Iron Man. Let's just say that's a whole other. We can talk about that. Another it's not a multiverse. So we're getting that. But but that's what in that's fairness smart. that we have to bring that up because that's what you just did with Modoc. So yeah, for people who would prefer to I see really don't a get better version Mordok. of Modoc, I get your argument. In fact, yeah. that little cartoon thing of Modoc that they got going on, I still is, watch it. On Hulu. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. I watch that's that exactly, Modoc cartoon. Okay, so you enjoy it. Right. That's exactly what the character is. It's just, just yeah, stupid. he's just. But the man is supposed to be. You know, he's supposed to be the main bad guy. Yeah, sure. But whatever, we're okay. just not gonna talk about that. Okay. Okay. Um. Switch gears. I'll, I'll bring up some. Yeah, we got one more. We got. We got a question. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Start with or say. Okay, I just have to say this uh, for argument's sake. He is a giant floating head. I yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 But it yeah. look like spy kids. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta be honest. Yeah. Why do they really look like spy kids? Yeah. Yeah. Same, yeah. same color palette. We actually know somebody that compared to spy kids. Quantum, yeah. quantum It's a better. It's a Spider Man. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is a question, okay. not for you guys, but for one person. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, what is going on here? What is going on? What just happened if here? If you're not liking anything, what is your favorite Marvel movie? He likes a few things. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, he's showing, he's showing you the weapon. <laughs> to be fair, he's dressed right, as he's showing you the weapon. Spider, Spider, Spider Jedi and Red Hood. I think whatever he's out. wearing. Yeah, yeah, no, he's like, like, he, he liked a few things. He's done yeah, that. Yeah, he's like, like what? That's your critics. What makes you right? Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah. What's going on here? Because you know what? That's why the show is fanatically correct. Because And then our slogan is, we're the fans of geeks and the nerds are always correct. Because everyone's entitled to their opinion. And then like. Always, anytime we'll give a suggestion to a film or a show or anything like that, we'll say, you still got to watch it yourself. Even if we completely trash it, and I've watched a lot of things that have been trashed, that and, like, yeah, it might, and then I go, yeah, that yeah. was bad, I shouldn't have watched it. So that's the case, so you can't come up here and criticize. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. What is it? What is it? Can you please favorite? change the lightsaber to red? Because you are so sick right now. You're I tried. Sick. No, make sure you get that. There you go. It no. changed the colors on its own. <laughs> Right, sit back down. <laughs> yeah, anyone can like. You know, I know oh, people that God. likes that. I know someone that likes the prequel Star Wars more than any other Star Wars movie. So, you know, it happens. Listen, I know, I know somebody that knows Spider-Man Look at that. Three. Look at that. Look, at that. Look, at that. Look you just became best friends, Martha. He likes the prequels there the go. best. There you go. He likes the I wasn't trying to call him out directly, but yes. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, best friends. Hey, there you go. Can you guys shake, shake hands now, yeah. please? There you Don't go. let me go going on here. Shoot him. There you go. Trick him and shoot him. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, it's always so bad, so, audience. My goodness. Man, you're uh, going to be a terrible critic, bro. So, moving on. Hey, we'll, we'll go some cheesy multiverse stuff. Um, I'm not going to bring up Space Jam. We, we trash that movie way too much. The new one. The new one, yeah. Obviously, the original Space Jam. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Server Jam. Yeah, Server Jam. Yeah, Server Jam. Yeah, yeah, um, you got the Marvel thing, uh, Spider Verse, of course. Uh, well, it's actually the first Spider Verse. You can all easily talk about that. Uh, Sonic, Sonic Two, Smurfs. 
great movies. Actually, Mario too. I mean, some of the video games are like both sides. Yeah, they are. They're both. Yeah, they're they're really both good. good. It is, and like that's a fun way of a multiverse. Yeah. You know, kind of. Yeah, I mean, it's for kids. Like Mario, totally. You know, a children's film, but we all love it. They did such a great job with the fan yeah. service. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, plot for Mario? Like yeah, Mario is good. Oh, we love that. Yeah, it's the multiverse. Yeah, it's Rick Jones. Oh, he's been uh, kind of a multiverse. Jack Black is killing it. He's, he's, that's the greatest song. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. I hope they do Super Smash Bros. Sorry for me. It's, exactly, it's, it's, it's let it go. And it's just about your set that you just do a movie for all the Nintendo characters. Yeah, yeah. that's what's coming. Well, they're going to yeah, do Donkey Kong next. Yeah, and that's what everyone's movie. hoping for. So they're going to Smash Brothers movie, everyone's going to be all over it. Yeah. And if they do it in this way, it'll be, it's the best because adults enjoy it, kids enjoy it, families say everyone just can go see it and just like as long as you keep, keep the fans ever since Smash Brothers is huge. We just had a tournament over here in the game room um, yesterday and it's, I mean, just, there's tournaments every week. Just, you know, check out uh, Flynn's Arcade and More, one of our sponsors. You guys got free passes to that. Uh, go on a night where we have either Smash Brothers tournament or Street Fighter 6 and that stuff. But yeah, Smash Brothers is huge. It's based off of Mario and, you know, Pokemon and all these characters that that's probably the best route to go for um, that multiverse of characters. Yeah, they're doing it. Yeah, because uh, Detective was... <laughs> that was actually really good. They could, just, yeah, they actually could just, like, backtrack and keep, just go that into their, into their multiverse. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, you have a question? Okay, go ahead. Uh, it's not totally multiverse related, but if they do Metroid and Samus, mm. do you guys think they should do live action? Or should it be... Like, mm. no. It's hard now. It's hard not. I feel that yeah. everything is going I think animated, it, though. It, it's because of Spider Man, man. Because that animation is so good. It's, it's actually cool. better than Pixar right now. Yeah, but the thing is, see, like, I, I would say, if, like, if, uh, what was it on uh, Paramount that they did, um, Halo? Yes. And the reason I bring that up is because uh, oh, if that was done well, it's so bad. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So bad. Here's the thing: I didn't play Halo, so I kind of got into it at first because I wasn't affected by the bad storyline. Yeah. <laughs> is, is it because he took off his mask every two minutes? Yes. You were such a crybaby. Yeah. No, yeah. It's the Mandalorian yeah. effect. Well, no. Well, this is <laughs> Master Chief. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> yes. And any other games. Movies. Right. Never yeah. And then he just takes it off. But that, that's well, in, the series, in the series, they had a side story with characters that no one cares about. Yeah. So it's like I feel, I feel if they go animated, they'll be, they'll be able to do so much more. Obviously, um, I mean, you see, I'm not, I'm not trying to go back to it, but the CGI on the Flash is really bad for 2023. I'm sorry, like, it's, it's not that good. Yeah. yeah, but it's just like CGI really is no, not and, holding and, and, up to it anymore. Yeah, the problem is that it was um, even even was, uh, even the even the Avatar movie. Like I went there, it's not that great. No, the I, CGI is not that great. It's not okay, blowing so, my yeah. mind away. Like the have, first time Avatar. Sure. Yeah, for gamers, we have a lot of gamers in here. A lot of your yeah. you know, game and those type of yeah, obviously yeah. metrics. That, that 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 is an issue for me. I don't let that cloud me, but. Um, there are obviously people who aren't gamers appreciate the Avatar films a lot more than those who are because those who are gamers are like I see this all the time when I game like this is not impressive the mocap and all like they do this for all the medium I'm already involved with and these people they find just watch a movie that way and since they're not used to that medium they actually enjoy it but it's the same thing with animation you have there is somewhat of a generation gap uh, like I'll see what my parents and not you know not everyone but most of us I'm looking around the room uh, have come from a generation where animated started getting good by the animated series gargoyles things like that and then everything from that point on was just good story good quality mm -hmm. animation it's a medium for us that we can appreciate that the generations ahead of us come from a part where they only yeah, enjoyed cartoons when they were kids because they weren't very well done uh anime hadn't gotten big over here yet so they just don't like like it was big. It was just. You know, that's how they would see it. It was big. It was just. They can't get over the hump. I was like, oh, it's just a cartoon. Get over that. So, yeah, but for us, and I, I agree, I think that that might be the better way to start going with things is start just going animation. I'm, I'm, the robots I'm, on taking, Netflix. I'm taking a shot at it. I'm telling you, most of the things from here on out will be animated. There will be more animation than there will be. I'm telling you. So you're saying, but you're saying so they should. As right? an industry, there you're will be saying, more animation. And you're saying they should, or you're saying that's the way No, I think going? that's the way they're going. There uh, is so much easier. But you don't agree with it. I don't agree with it because I feel like you're losing, you're losing I thought a lot you were starting to like it because you really no, upset that Scott Pilgrim. No, it's not because gonna be I like think you also, <laughs> not everything should be animated and you're losing the whole movie magic part of making movies. Like, yeah. You're, you're going to sit there and you're going to animate it. Yeah, you can explore the realms of it, but at the end of the day, you will fail in the movie industry part of it and movies will be less 
uh, more like filming places, and you'll see just. I mean, oh, look at the yeah, Batman yeah, yeah, yeah. film. That whole yeah. film was shot in a studio. Yeah. Like the majority of that film yeah. was shot in the studio. Think it's about these films. Like The Mandalorian. Yeah. And that was wild because The Mandalorian was, like, everyone already found out about that because Disney was doing, like, a release after every episode, an episode about the making of the episode. So we found out right away that they were doing, like, this whole dome and just, you know, no on site filming whatsoever. Um, but they completely out of left field that information with the Batman. They never talked about it. And this. they look great. Yeah, and that's why they didn't want it. And it was, was practically yeah. shot. And then when they did the special afterwards, pretty much the internet. But not story. every like, movie, but not every like, movie will have yeah. great story. I think Dune is back. being done a lot the same way too. Uh, Dune and Dune too. Yeah, I think my yeah. problem is, uh, and it actually is with Marvel and most of the super. The, the world doesn't feel lived in it, right? Like you don't see yeah. people around. That's the, Marvel, the backgrounds. Yeah. It's a lot of CGI, and then it just looks empty. It's just what's action, the action that's happening in front of you, and then everything else is kind yeah, of like, like go walk, it looks like a studio. Go walk Miami Beach right now, and you see people. There's people, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saying that. Yeah, not right, like, you don't see that. You don't see... Yeah, not to spoil it, but anyone here who's not yet seen uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, that's like your next mission, because in fairness, that's, that's, that's even... Well, because it's Marvel, but it's also Sony. But that's by far one of the best Marvel films in a while. James Gunn ended on a very good note. Yeah. And, he, and what you're saying was actually not a problem I had in that film. Because yeah. it has been a big deal, especially the space was like Thor, Love, and Thor. Oh, yeah, because the yeah. And, I, and I was concerned that that was going to be the only problem going into that Guardians of the Guys that he would have. And fortunately, it, it actually didn't have what you're saying. Yeah. And which is true, usually with the overdone green screen and CGI. And, you know, it, it's kind of outdated, but... Hopefully we might luck out. There'll be a bit of a bubble burst with this writer's strike, and I think that's what just needs to start happening here is these big films just need to take more time to be done. Not 15 years <laughs> and still have bad CGI. Also, actors you know? should stop getting in trouble. Yeah, uh, that that would help. But, <laughs> yeah, that, but, I mean, <laughs> so they got to sit it up in time. Uh, Red Hood. It is Red Hood, right? I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have a whole new movie created with Brendan Jackson 3 Battle Warlord. Yeah. 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 I, I totally get that. That's the same complaint that all the good comic book fans, actually, uh, GAT 305, a friend of the podcast, I saw that film with him, and uh, that was his big complaint, too. And most complaints is that yeah. Adam Warlock didn't get the story you're supposed to have, and it should have happened in Endgame. It should. You know? Yeah. It yeah. Should've. Yeah. Should've. yeah. Go ahead, uh, Star Wars. Like, yeah, Warlock was supposed to be like this wise and all powerful. Right. Like, yeah. Like, they made him a big baby. Yeah. Before getting big, though, when it took down Thanos in the comics. Yeah. I mean, I have to admit, he was a bit of a disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going to share a, a theory because we we're back on the Marvel just for a second because of the, the Adam Warlock and everything. It's something ridiculous. Everyone's well, bringing up. You got 12 like, minutes. You got 12 minutes. Uh, I'll wrap it up, guys. Uh, is the whole thing like with the Eternals um, that there's supposed to be this big hand coming out the earth? And, like, no one has talked about any other film parties. But I'm starting to also notice it in uh, Secret Invasion. Um, I'm really feeling that the twist, and you know, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm not, at least I'll have the satisfaction of finally calling something in advance and being right about it. But I feel that we're going to find out within like probably in about three or four years when they do the next Avengers film, that we have no longer been seeing the same Earth in all these films. I think uh, Quantumania is one uh, or version, Eternals is another. Uh, what's going on now with like the with the Marvels, Captain Marvel, and all that is another. No Way Home is another. We might have like about five or six different uh, Earths that we're actually witnessing now. And the smart thing about that in writing is because they want us to start caring about these characters because when those incursions come down and Secret Wars happens, they're gonna have to kill people off, and that's what it's gonna be. And so they, oh yeah, so this Ant Man dead. This version of uh, you know the uh, the X whatever you know they bring or the Fantastic Four. Mm -hmm. So I really feel we're no longer watching. That's why I think it's they're doing a bad job of it, unfortunately, because what it is feeling like is like nothing makes sense no more. It's just a big puzzle, and they, you have to watch this to watch this, but then it really doesn't feel like it's still lining up. And I feel that's what it is. It's not lining up. They're actually in each a different. I I just hope yeah. you're right. I hope yeah. too. I was a bit wrong think, about Morbius, and I was. Just, I think that's way too. <laughs> that's I think that's way too good. Yeah. I hope you're right. Yeah. Uh, Huh? What I think is, I broadly agree with what you're saying, but what I think they're doing is building up to something like Crisis on Infinite Earths. 
but the Marvel version. Yeah. 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 But the Secret Wars. Everything out. Yeah. yeah. But the Secret Wars, which they have, they've announced the film Secret Wars, and that's yeah. what 20, I think they bumped it again already, it's like 2026. Yeah. We're not. Yeah. Yeah. We're, 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 yeah. we're back in a writer strike, so I think they get bumped late. Um, and we'll see because the only thing that helps them too is that they have, you know, they have a lot of actor situation, and, uh, you know, they, they, that complicates things for them because they have these films planned out. Um, yeah. And then you get a strike, and then you get a an actor gets arrested or gets in trouble with something else. Eternal. So it's just so it's, it's just hard to pre plan anymore. They really you know got down struck gold with the end game. You know, I didn't like Eternals either, but I do. I'm tired of the slow motion fast thing. That was the way about that, that film in Eternals. Eternals it, was, uh, it was great. I just want to put it out there. And if anybody actually loved the way the Flash runs in the Flash or any of the yeah, you know, that's like exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like, why is he skating? Like, they could have fixed that. Uh, we got about 10 minutes here uh, just to go down a couple of different but cool ones. Uh, Mr. Nobody. Mr. Nobody. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Uh, Parallels. Uh, yeah, uh, multi multiverses. Another Earth. Obviously, that was in the trivia. Uh, source Code. You got some Source Code? Source Code. Source Code. Great film. Jake Gyllenhaal. Check, check that out. Dark, the series. Uh, actually, old school for me, it's not kid friendly, the cool world. I'm not going to get into the details. He said not so, but it's definitely not kid friendly. It's a dog Roger Rabbit. It's really not kid friendly. And I saw it as a kid, which is terrible. But you know what? Howard the Duck I saw as a kid, they advertised that for its kids. I mean, also multiverse. And they said also not kid friendly. That was really, that was like James Gunn and Howard the Duck ate the kids. I'm just saying. In the 80s, that was PG. Like it's yeah, no, it's, yeah, that was the first. It was peachy. Well, yeah, and my complaint about how the book is what? Why is that? Why is that a thing? Why would? Why are you reading a, a Avengers? And this freaking duck comes out. Stop it. <laughs> like, no, why? Stop why is Howard the Duck a thing? Yeah, I love the Howard the Duck. See, at least, the, at least the movie like that I shouldn't have watched as a kid. Doing that for me. Voted towards kids. Like, it had nothing to do with like superheroes or anything They're like that. Doing that for me. Yeah. <laughs> I like Howard you, the Duck. You sent you sent a request for that. I watched that as a kid. You had me watching it as an adult. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Howard the Duck or the yes. film? Oh, yes. okay. Cool, cool, yeah, cool world to the stuff. Who was that? Yeah. 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 So did I. I got older. It's bad. It's not. Good. It's not good. Yeah. I love. It. I would tell you uh, for us, uh, for us, eighties, nineties, maybe nineties uh, uh, gamers, uh, Mortal Kombat, all the films, and New World Kombat's good, but yeah, multiverse, multiverse incursions. I mean, basically all the stuff that yeah, yeah. you know DC and all this stuff did in a very different way. You know, That's like, true. Brutality, but yeah, yeah, multiverse in there. Um, we talk about his dark materials. Uh, did thing. So we said Teen Titans is like, oh, Teen Titans. Teen Titans. Awesome man. multiverse. They did a whole, a whole man. The whole thing that Power Rangers did a multiverse. And see, there's anything. Multiverse is in everything. No. Uh, Which is why. That's just, like they say, like, it's, that's an easy way out for them. Yeah. They need to stop it. Multiverse and like the newer, mm-hmm. yeah, they yeah. Stop it. Well, they, they kind of had they did the end game moment before end game did it, which is like, listen, yeah, these, that works you know? amazing, obviously, in comic books because I can read a comic book and be like, Oh, this is all multiverse, I can start a new well, that's what they're doing comic comic books. every 10 years, that's what they're doing, yeah, which yeah. that makes sense, but like the movies that stop it's it, different. stop it. It's that's a cop out, it's, it's becoming a cop out, just like time travel, everyone's using time travel now, yeah, it's like, I don't want to see time travel. Anymore. Well, we started with Inner Tessie, so we're going to start wrapping up. Do either of you have a specific thing you want to share as Inner Tessie? In case you want to close out that way. Multiverse. Yo, Pete? Uh, no, I know that. I said everything that, that I wanted to say. So we're wrapping up, and uh, again, please check out our podcast, Fanatically Correct. We talk about stuff like this, all kinds of stuff. We also do uh, celebrity guest panels at other cons, uh, maybe eventually here at Supercon. So we have episodes of those Q&As. Uh, we got stuff coming up. I'm always doing things with the arcade. We have a table. We're just hanging out in the big game room area with the arcade cabinets and board games and all that. So you see one of us, come by, say hi, talk, all that good stuff, follow with us. Again, we're not we setting can, anything so you can come in. Yeah, yeah, we're not selling stuff. We're just hanging out, you getting done, and waste any money like the rest of you. Just yeah. fine. So just, yeah, like, I share. This is the previous episodes. We very much appreciate it. Thank you all for coming. Yes. Uh, thank you to our trivia winners. Anybody, if you still like the body when we kind of trash it a bit on your way out, got some Flash movie posters there. Yeah. And we'll supply I mean, flash. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, actually, so those who, who, who helped out the most. It's not that many. Before those, I want Star-Lord and um, 
and uh, Red Hood to be at. If you want one of the posters, please grab one because you guys really improved a lot. We appreciate that. Uh, yeah, people can ask a question, so you, you, you help a lot. So, uh, again, appreciate everyone who came out. Yes. Again, to the top line, what I will make the same groups. That's it, Peter. Your peace, beat us. There you have it, folks. This has been Fanatically Correct. Until next time, you crazy kids. Signing off.